So today, we're going to be finding out who is the better fighter, Daredevil or Nightwing. Let's, so let's find out. So, it goes without saying that Dick Grayson and Matt Murdock are two of the greatest fighters and martial artists in all of comics. Being masters of several martial art forms, beating other top tier fighters, and they're both easily in the top 10 best fighters from their respected universes. And they're even arguably copycats of each other. So, let's get started off here with Nightwing. So, as a child, Dick was part of an acrobatic circus show with his parents known as the Flying Graysons. He was performing extremely difficult acrobatic and parkour moves that made people's jaws drop with ease at a very young age. And when he became Robin and later Nightwing, he incorporated his agility into his fighting style. He was trained by Batman and Richard Dragon, two of if not the best fighters in all of comics. Dick is a master of a wide variety of martial arts, such as Judo, Ninjutsu, Boxing, Kickboxing, Savat, Muay Thai, Karate, Aikido, Krav Maga, Salat, Capoeira, Taekwondo, and Kung Fu. He's beaten Batman, Catwoman, Catwoman Red Hood, Embarrassed Damian Wayne, Bane, Midnighter, Ra's al Ghul, Tim Drake, Grifter, David Kane, and even Lady Shiva, possibly the greatest fighter in all of comics, was impressed with Dick's level of skill. His fighting style focuses on speed and agility. And finally, he's decent in pressure point fighting as well. And now for Daredevil. So, as a child, Matt Murdock started training in boxing in his dad's gym. Soon after his accident, a ninja master known as Stick trained Matt. He helped Matt hone his new superhuman abilities in acrobatics and martial arts. He's a master of several fighting and martial arts styles, including boxing, ninjutsu, jujitsu, jujutsu, savat, taekwondo, kung fu, judo, krav maga, stick fighting, salat, karate, capoeira, escarima, aikido, and Greco-Roman wrestling. He even has a black belt in ninjutsu. He's beaten or stalemated with Wolverine, Black Panther, Captain America, Elektra, Iron Fist, Winter Soldier, Kingpin, Taskmaster, Karnak, Deadpool, and Sabretooth. He's also beaten 107 men who might have been superhuman at the time all by himself in just his street clothes, meaning it was Matt Murdock fighting them, not Daredevil. Uh, and just like Dick, Max, uh, Matt's uh, fighting style really focuses on speed and agility. And finally, he's a master of pressure point fighting as well. So yeah, Matt and Dick are easily in the top 10 best fighters from their respected universes, like I said earlier, and are easily on par with each other. Whoever is more skilled is taking just the ever so slightest advantage. Both men's fighting style focuses on speed and agility. Both men are masters of several fighting and martial arts styles. Both men know many of the same fighting styles. And both men have very impressive resumes. They're practically equals and why a lot of people say they're copycats of each other. So, who wins in a straight up hand-to-hand -hand fight between Dick Grayson and Matt Murdock? No suits or gadgets, just a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Well. I'd give Dick the ever so slight agility advantage, making his fighting style more acrobatic. But overall, I'm gonna go with Matt Murdock here. And here's why. Dick Grayson has never beaten 107 men who were possibly superhuman in just his street clothes before. Also, Matt Murdock is much more effective and knowledgeable about pressure point fighting and nerve strikes. Matt Murdock is just ever so slightly more skilled of a fighter than Dick Grayson is. And although I would love to see these two fight on the big screen, like it would just be a thing of beauty, Matt Murdock is overall just more skilled, slightly, than Dick Grayson. Matt Murdock takes it. Anyways, like and subscribe, all the great stuff. See you on the next one. Peace.